My connection with the Titanic is my grandfather, William Aubrey Wilshire, who was a butcher, or an assistant butcher on the Titanic, who unfortunately was lost. And how did you find out his story and your connection? It was quite by accident. I knew I, knew I had a grandfather that had died on the Titanic, but, but being a young, young lad, I, I wasn't really that interested, uh, as my father never spoke about it that much until I called on a chap when I was working who had known a baker or an apprentice baker that was on the Titanic, um, who later went to the Olympic, who told a story that the butchers were trapped like rats in a trap in a lift, which made me think and I wanted to find out more about the story. And it was my investigation into that that got me really, really involved in the Titanic. And how did you start your investigating? First of all, it was just asking around the family and, and, and different things like that, because nobody really spoke about it, which I can quite understand, because there was, um, I think there were six children in total, um, my father being one of them. Um, so nothing was really said a great deal about it. Um, but then I, after that, I, I sort of bought a book called Titanic Voices, um, which was, uh, I think it was written by some people from Southampton Council. And uh, I got really involved in that. And from then, I just found out things that I would never have expected. The fact that um, on my mother's side, that her father, uh, her father's sister, had lost her husband and her father-in-law in the same disaster. And then I began to realise how close it was. And that's when I really started to get involved into finding out more of this story um, that the butchers had died trapped in a lift um, by going through lots and lots of plans um, and different things, which made a lot of sense until I could connect all the, lot, all the pieces together. Uh, and it seemed to be true. In the meantime, uh, I've been down other tracks on how much my grandmother received from the Titanic Benefit Fund um, and how much she got when she remarried. Uh, and it seemed, although it was a disaster, if all families were treated the same, it may not have ended in such a disaster that it did because all my aunties and uncles, including my father, uh, received a Titanic apprentice scheme. Um, I do realise that it was a disaster at the time. There was mass unemployment. Uh, I think there was the coal strike on. So it would have been a disaster. But financially, my grandmother, I think, received three shillings more a month than she did when her husband was alive. And when she was married again in 19, I think it was 1928, she received £37 as a, a bonus and uh, an end to the benefit. And of course there are so many different aspects to the Titanic story, lots of them tragically sad and you yourself have such poignant connections. How do you reflect on that now with your family when you think back about your, your connections? Firstly I often think how horrible, or how, I can't imagine being trapped in a lift and it's it filling with water, or would it have gone down so quick that the air pressure alone would have possibly forced you to black out or something like that. But I often think of that. Uh, and I used to think um, the sort of life that probably my, my father had. But after investigating these things, I feel that maybe being young, you, you, you tend to get over these things. Um, so I'm not so upset now as I was when I was first investigating it. Now I found out about the apprenticeship scheme, the benefit scheme, um, and of course the Lord Mayor of the time that, that, that pushed and pushed for all these things. My Auntie Amy, um, she received a doll that was presented from a London school, which I think that's in the Titanic Voices. I just wish I had the doll. Uh, it was owned by 
my cousin's family. Uh, unfortunately, I, th I think they lived in Shirley. And during the Second World War, uh, during the Blitz, they were went to the air raid shelters. And when they came back, a lot of the houses in that street had been looted. And one of the things that went missing was the doll. But I wish that doll was, was still around. To, um, it would have been something special to me.